Come here now, girl. Hey guys, this is Razel back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a channel art slash banner using Photoshop CS6. So before I start, I just want to show you the banner we'll be making today. So yeah, this is the banner you'll be making today and hopefully you guys will like it. So yeah, without much further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is click on File, New, and make sure that your width is 2560, height is 1440, and resolution is 72, color mode RGB color, and background contents transparent. And then just click OK. So the next thing you want to do is actually go to and get and just get the image of the YouTube channel layout, channel banner layout. So basically, this will help us to align like where our banner will actually be. And then just click on images. And as you can see here, the first image just pops up. Just go download this and then. Just put it and place it back into Photoshop. So I have already downloaded it here and I'm just going to be placing it back into Photoshop. So by doing this, we actually know that what part of the banner do we actually have to work on. So now just click on a, yeah, basically just click on the rectangle tool and make sure that the stroke is nothing and fill is black and then just border out the thing. Just click on it and drag like that and just like this much. And once more, same thing. that's all so basically you got the place where you're gonna actually be working on your banner so now you can just delete this layer or just like cancel it out so yeah so now you will basically want to work on the background of your banner so if you're a gaming channel you can put a gaming ban background if you are some like vlogging channel you can just put like city lights and all the, you know the filming channel you can put like it depends on what content you actually make so I'm just gonna be going with the city background right now so I'm just gonna be dragging in a city background like that and then it's holding shift just drag it so that it stays in proportion like that and from here and I'll just drag it below the rectangle one also so yeah I've got a pretty good city background right here so basically now I can just type in the text I want for example like I'll just type in the text your name so basically I'll just use the font nexa bold and nexa light with Nexa Bold, you can just write your and make sure the text is white. Your and with Nexa Light, you can type in the, your name. I mean the name, yeah. So yeah, this makes it look like kind of good. So yeah, now just press Ctrl T and holding Shift, just drag it up so that it stays in proportion. And then just settle it where you actually want your text to be. So as you can see the text kind of blends in with the banner and it's not kind of visible quite clear. So now we're going to be adding some effects that will make the text actually visible and give the background a much clearer and better look. So first thing we are going to edit the text. Right click on the text layer, go to blending options and then go to maybe, maybe you can go to Aroglow, maybe yep yeah, Aroglow can do the job. Make sure that the color is white, opacity 100 and yeah just settle the size so that it becomes kind of glowy. So yeah like that and yeah I think this is all because not much is needed for the text currently. So yeah that's all you can do for the text right now and now we can edit the banner a little bit and make it a little more cool or stylish. So the first thing we want to do is actually maybe just drag in this background or yeah like that. So we're going to be working on using this background also right now. So just like that and then maybe you can press overlay but I don't think it's gonna be working right now oh well it does work so yeah overlay does do the job so it kinda of makes a stripy background and it looks kinda of good so you can work with this right now it looks pretty good and then you can just as you can see that this part of the layer is kinda of a little white you can just make a dark layer like this holding the brush too you can take a dark maybe this black background So just gonna make this bigger and yeah, just do like that maybe, yeah. And then just click and overlay again. So, uh, no, that doesn't look good actually, yeah. So maybe you can just click here on this small button right here and maybe just click on brightness and contrast and make the brightness a little bit lesser. 
just like that so yeah this makes the text pretty clear right now and you can actually add in some more effects so basically you can just take this flare kind of stuff over here and add in over here so just like that and make it like that so uh, obviously we don't want flares right here i just had this background so i just took it you can just take in star background like that also i'm just gonna keep, be keeping like that so that we have that stars and then pressing in overlay again or no actually screen because it's a black background so yeah screen will do the job so yeah as you can see we have many stars right here and yeah it looks also pretty good so as you can see the white part again like blues up or something just so we can just reduce the brightness again a little bit just like that yeah that pretty much does the job so yeah you got a big good amazing background for your channel art so yeah so you've got your text you've got your background and yeah now you can just add in your twitter links and stuff like that so adjust this a little bit and then you can add in your twitter so right there where's my twitter i forgot yep over here it's in the banner pack you can take in twitter and then enlarge it holding shift be sure to hold shift and then just like that it's kind of grayish so we can add a color overlay to it but we'll do that later so i'll just type in the text now maybe just use nexa bold because it's going to be visible then and then just type in so yeah this is the twitter enlarge it Control T and holding shift just bring it up like that and then we can add Facebook maybe many people have Facebook account also for their channels so we can take in the Facebook into consideration too and add in Facebook right here like that and then yep just duplicate this layer by pressing Control J the text layer holding shift just drag it like that and then just replace the text I mean the at sign with slash so yeah that's basically the banner so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and yeah you could just tech mess up with another things you maybe maybe you have a twitch account or maybe you have instagram you could just insert that the same way i did over here and yeah you could just maybe bring this uh, outer glow as well as a color overlay so yeah just right click on the facebook icon layer color overlay make it white and maybe you can add outer glow just like that this much seems okay just like yeah just a little bit four so we have already got our facebook like that just click on right click on the facebook layer copy layer style and then go to the twitter icon layer and then paste layer style so yeah you have got a twitter also like that so yeah now you can just merge these layers so that it doesn't become confusing and then yeah just adjust it so yeah that was the banner guys hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and if you do please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you guys want i can just leave this um maybe the banner template down in the description the link to the banner template all the fonts used over here will also be in the banner template i mean yeah i mean the i'll leave the links to the fonts as well if you guys want to download the fonts so yeah thanks a lot for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoy and if you did please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up also be sure to comment if you're actually watching this video so yeah thanks a lot for watching my name is riser like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys